Hey guys and Gaia's, we are Twin Flames, Jack and Amanda here, and we have an astrology report for what is considered to be one of the most important astrological events of the year. The Blood Moon Total Lunar Eclipse. It happens on July 27, 2018, and is the longest eclipse of the 21st century, lasting about one hour and 43 minutes. So stay tuned for the report. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster ride with some big ups and downs and maybe going in circles. Circles! The moon will be closest to Earth, and so we could experience some earthquakes. Let's pray for safety and no lives being lost during this time. This period will be between the July 12th solar eclipse and the July 27th lunar eclipse, part a particularly potent time. In the turbulence, some people will find it difficult to find clarity during this time. Many will experience strange relationship, betrayals or confusions. They may go back and forth. Uh-oh. Forth and back, uh, moving nowhere for a while. One of the biggest problems that could come up is making commitments too soon in the midst of a storm. I know we did that the other day. A little bit, yeah. Don't be surprised if you find yourself backed into a corner in a relationship or a situation because you have said yes to something that wasn't in alignment for the long term. You just weren't able to think ahead at the time. Now setting the new boundary in present time may bring up a lot of insecurity, guilt, or shame. Oh, no. It did for me yesterday. As uncomfortable as it is to reveal our truth, it's wonderful opportunity to release past guilt and shame. Two of the biggest sources of disempowerment. Disempowerment, slay those. Some say that the powers that be have used humanity's Achilles heel of guilt and shame to their advantage, creating religions and a culture that breeds a disempowered mindset. Oh no. One that feeds off of guilt and shame that separates you from your twin flame. Yep, it happened to us, but we worked through it. This blood moon total lunar eclipse is an opportunity to do a shame and guilt detox. Let's do this. It's the perfect time of self-forgiveness, self-compassion. Make those apologies that are needed for you to feel clear on moving forward. I am sorry. However, do not wait for others to forgive you because you are the one to emancipate yourself. After all, they too may be in this astrological turbulence and may have some upset feelings that really has nothing to do with you. So this blood moon will shake you up and trigger you in a lot of those places that you haven't wanted to look that will awaken your soul. It's also time for great change. And the quote, we are the ones we've been waiting for is going to apply right now. We must move forward on our soul purpose missions. And after this blood moon, it will become apparent that there is no more time for wavering, waiting for others to save us, approve of us, forgive us, or even like us. Now is the time to tap into our truth and take action. Remember what we came here for. Feel that fire under our booties. We will definitely be tested at this full moon, which will appear fiery reddish orange in parts of the world. Now, this is not going to be visible everywhere, including in the North U.S., unfortunately, but you can always enjoy this full moon, this full moon with flu blockers. Here are some solutions so you can have an intentional and not overly intense or insane blood moon total lunar eclipse experience. Or spend as much time as possible out in nature connecting to Mother Earth. Second, feel to heal. Feel those difficult emotions come up at this time. You're going to feel everything much deeper and with more intensity. So have intention on feeling it. Write in your journal to release those unexpressed emotions that will be expected to come up and be purged out. Also, ask for forgiveness. If you're in a difficult situation, you can repeat the following. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. At least three times. Now, don't wait for the other person to forgive you. It starts by forgiving yourself. Let us liberate the deep, dark places inside of ourselves that need to be loved and cared for by coming out 
into the light. Bringing these parts of ourselves out may not be so pretty, so it's a perfect time to practice self-compassion. Allow yourself to grow, even if that means making mistakes, learning from it, falling down, getting back up. You are human. This, this time is about self-actualization and self-realization. And it can be messy. This will eventually lead into a harmonious path, so allow yourself to be a bit messy without the self-judgment. This is a time to commit to unshackling ourselves from the chains that have bound us and kept us small. To unbind, we must unblind, meaning we have to be willing to see the truth. This may mean admitting to ourselves that we have been chasing a lie or living in a fantasy. Standing strong in our truth means taking responsibility for the ugliness and the messiness and not taking it any longer as we learn to love and accept ourselves on a much deeper level. This requires setting boundaries, possibly even ending relationships or obsessions that don't feel right. It's okay to do that. Trust your gut through the process, which always leads to liberty, justice, and the good old pursuit of happiness. Woohoo! At this time, we can absorb the powerful astrological energies to strengthen us. This is a time to step into deeper commitment to our soul purpose and step up as leaders in our careers, in our twin flame union, and with our families too. Post in the comments below one thing that you are committed to on your soul purpose at this time that you would like to activate through this lunar eclipse. This is the time to do it. Yeah. All right, so here's how to do a blood moon total lunar eclipse ritual. So draw yourself a nice warm bath, add some bath salts, sprinkle in some lavender petals or a few drops of lavender essential oil or oil that you like. Then focus on what you're ready to release and let go of it emotionally. Those relationships, things not working in your career, Imagine yourself letting go of the shame, the guilt, or any energy that you wish to release into the water. Allow the salt water to cleanse your spirit, your mind, your body, and your soul. Next, go into a receptive meditative state where you can then call in the things that you do want in your life. Replace the things that you're ready to let go. You may wish to call in more love, more compassion, more strength, harmony, etc. whatever it is that you feel would serve you in your highest good at this time. Now, before we conclude, we want to say that the fun doesn't stop here. <laughs> Additionally, today on July 26th, the sun and Sirius align and the Lionsgate portal opens <laughs> back the emotional outbursts at the end of July. Let your inner lion roar, as Jack did, and play big and expect some messes too. You'll always be able to clean it up and come together with your soul family, your twin flame with more love and alignment. And ladies, speaking of the lion energy, make sure that you're registered for next month's new moon in Leo. That's happening live on Friday, August the 10th. We'll be awakening the divine daughter in Leo and healing the inner child to empower your sacred feminine, as well as do a global goddess cacao ceremony as we do every month from the comfort of your own home. This is for you if you are a feminine leader, a business owner who's being guided to align your divine feminine energy with your very own divine masculine as a twin flame. And if you're ready to access more power and love in your work, and relationships, making an impact in your life, your business, and you wish to deepen the connection to the divine daughter archetype. So join us for this 100% complimentary live online event to set your goals for the next 28 day moon cycle ahead to manifest like a lunatic baby. You can register at the link below. I'll post it in the description box and I can't wait to see you soon. Namaste. Bye for now. Namaste.